A former Providence College and NBA player has now turned to fashion. Eyewitness News reporter Maury Hirschgordon talked to Jamel Thomas about his new clothing line and the special meaning that it holds for him. PC Hall of Famer Jamel Thomas recalls the conversation with his adopted mother the morning after he wasn't selected in the 1999 NBA draft. You know, I was laying in the bed. My mother just said, don't stop here. You keep moving forward. And that's why I did the line. The line he's referring to? His clothing line, Jamel, which debuted June 16th, a few months earlier than expected, in memory of his adopted mother and brother, who both died from coronavirus. We couldn't be next to each other because of all this was going on. So I just I just called my partner, my business partner. I said, let's, let's just start it. Jamel's designs have gained popularity, catching the attention of emerging athletes and pro basketball stars. But to him, the most important part, the logo. You know, it's going to be timeless. Signifying lessons of faith, courage, and strength. Traits he wishes he had learned as an orphan on the streets. Me as a man, telling my younger self, four years old that you lost your mother to gun violence you never met your father you tell your younger self everything is going to be all right so now jamel is the caregiver the protector the provider the inspiration for the next crop of kids from brooklyn from black to white to asian kids i just try to pass it down to the younger younger generation all the information i have he's donating a portion of the sales to benefit orphans and underprivileged children jamel what fuels you uh, kids, I think I see myself in them. They don't have the confidence. They need a big brother or a father figure. With a growing platform, Jamel says his time is now. We're going to push this brand right here, uh, the Jamel brand. We're going to push that, you know, forever. Like, we just, I'm going to do this for a long time. In Providence, Maury Hirsch Gordon, Eyewitness Sports.